is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Now let's get to the subject at hand, the, the negative stuff. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this, I'm just going to very briefly explain to everyone what's going on, alright? Starting back in August, this guy named Tutankhamen came into the stream and was being very generous. He was throwing cheers around like crazy, but then told everyone after throwing crazy amounts of cheers around that basically his account had gotten frozen by Amazon. So then he started tipping me like crazy, and then in September, he went nuts gifting a ridiculous amount of subscriptions to the channel. So when he was doing this, no one knows who this guy is. I didn't know who the guy was. You know, I'd never heard from him before. He had never been any kind of an active contributor, and apparently his account had been relatively new. No one knew who he was. Um, so then... Apparently, the rumor, I don't think it was a rumor, everyone knew he was going to other channels on on Twitch as well and doing exactly the same thing, including uh, LTG and a few other, like, I guess, Street Fighter players. He was going to their channels and gifting exorbitant amounts of subscriptions. He was tipping people. He was just doing crazy amounts of con contributing on the streams. So everyone's thinking, you know, what is the, the, the deal with this guy? Now, the bottom line is I have absolutely no control over this stuff. His contributions are what they are, right? Like, he throws the money at people, and you, you don't have a way to really do anything about it. You know, I'll be honest, I was very skeptical if the guy was legit or not, <clears throat> and if anything that he ever did was going to stick or not, I had no clue. Um, the good news is, a lot of it did. Like, I'll say, the stuff that he did with cheers and subs did stick, and it ended up benefiting me for a couple months here, where obviously, you know, those contributions helped out a ton. Hey, money is money. One thing I think about, money is money, yeah. Right? And I'm certainly not going to be negative about that. Okay? But what we... What basically ended up happening, alright, was I noticed over the last month to month and a half that Tut's behavior was changing to be very negative and very toxic to people in the stream chat. I noticed he was saying insulting things to people in the stream chat. He was insulting me in sly manner. Like, he would say to someone, Oh, uh, you know, I contributed, so Phil doesn't need any more help. He doesn't need any kind of contributions because I've been... You know, I did a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> and you would notice... He would, do, when he would contribute, he would try to basically kind of hog the spotlight, okay? He would try to basically be like, oh, the stream's all about me. I'm just going to keep gifting subs, and I'm going to keep doing this, and everyone talk to me. It's all about me. And if I look down at the stream chat, and everything is tut, 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 it's going to be ban, 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 and then we're going to continue on like normal fucking humans and not idiots. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I put up with it, because... Oh, money, 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 Anything for this, right? He was being very generous. It was helping out. And, you know, sometimes you got to look at the big picture. And, yeah, was it disrupting that this guy was coming in here and basically trying to make it all about him, a big attention thing about him? Yeah, it was disrupting. And, in fact, I got multiple complaints over the past two months about this guy, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I said I'm going to put up with it because, hey. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. It's like they say, the lesser of two evils, I guess. Yeah, it's disrupted to the streams, but at least his contributions are helping out and allowing me to keep doing what I do. So I'm not going to look the gift horse in the mouth, right? Well, I just basically kept putting up with it. And then the last few weeks, it just kind of was getting unbearable to the point where he would come in and start arguments. He would be violating the rules and people would be very lenient with him. He got timed out at one point for violating the rules. Um, basically, I guess it all came to a head the other day. And the thing is, I wasn't involved whatsoever. Allow me to explain what happened, all right? So <clears throat> I'm in here streaming Red Dead 2. And I'm basically just playing the game, focused on the game. There's a lot of narrative stuff that happened when I played this game on Sunday. So I don't even know what's going on. I'm not involved in it whatsoever. Apparently, uh, Tut came in here and started fights, was threatening people, was threatening the mods with, like, physical, oh, I'm going to beat you up and stuff like that. You know, little kitty shit that's not allowed. You can't say that stuff. Uh, and the mods had words with him and were like, dude, we don't know what's going on, but you got to chill out. We don't know what's happening. And basically, he basically threw a temper tantrum and was screaming, ban me, ban me, ban me. And, you know, this isn't just me hearsay. I read the logs. I read the chat logs. And this is what he was doing. Okay? So the mods banned him. And it wasn't going to be a permanent a ban or anything at all. We didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. So just to give you guys some perspective... So I end the stream, you know, the Red Dead stream, not knowing what the hell's going on. 
And basically, my mods told me the situation. They said, here's the logs. Take a look. What do you think? And I was like, I don't know what happened with this guy. Seems like he lost his mind. I don't know why the hell he would have been doing acting like this. I mean, yeah, I've seen that he's had some negative tendencies in the past couple of months, but nothing to this extent. It's like the guy exploded. He lost his mind or something. So I checked my emails. He had emailed me multiple times with insulting detractor things. <laughs> wow. Basically, you know, really nasty emails. And I'm like, well, it sounds to me like this guy apparently was going to do this all along. Like, this was some kind of a blow-up or a plan. Like, maybe he was planning to blow up and try to get all this attention on my stream or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Like, this guy is an enigma, right? No one knows anything about this fucking guy. So, basically, he says in an email to me, he sent me three emails. Like, they're not, I mean, if you read the string of emails, it's, like, insane what he's saying. And he did this all when I was streaming, so he knew I couldn't even read the emails. But he was, like, acting like I should have responded immediately to his emails. And basically, the final email, he's like, I want all my money back. And I'm like, uh, you're not getting any money back. The money is mine, and I want the money. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. Like, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Anything through Twitch is already processed and done. And as for the tips you sent me, you have literally on stream announced it was you and said that it was you actively doing it. I even have emails from Tut saying, oh yeah, because I basically when Tut was, was get started to gift me, you know, big amounts of contributions back in August, I started talking with him behind the scenes to make sure he was legit. And at that point, he was very rational. He was like, yes, you know, everything, this is all yours to keep. This is me just trying to be nice and I like your content and blah, blah, blah. Now here we are two months later and the guy's completely lost his mind demanding money back. I'm like, dude, you're not getting anything back. Um, you're out of your mind. Like, I don't know what your problem is. Um... But, you know, basically you can't violate the rules. I don't care how much you've contributed. No one's ab above the rules because then we don't have a safe environment anymore for people to chat. So either you abide by the rules or you're out of here. Okay, I don't know what's going on with you. Why all of a sudden you're, you're doing this nasty stuff in stream chat, threatening mods, asking to be banned, acting like a, like a weirdo, basically. But I can't have it, you know? And so basically, yeah, I'm a gamer! He placed over $1,200 of tips that he had given me since way back when, since August. So over two month span that he'd been tipping me on the streams, he placed them all on an alert for fraud with PayPal. <laughs> now, for those of you who aren't aware how PayPal works, there's two ways that you can try to dispute something. You can either say, oh, uh, you know, I sent someone money via PayPal and they didn't live up to the bargain. And usually this is for, a, like, a, an eBay transaction. Oh, you know, I sent money and they were supposed to ship me an item. They didn't ship me the item. Usually PayPal will side with the, per the person who sent the money in that case. However, since tips on streams are not pay are eBay transactions and there's literally no evidence of any kind of a financial transaction taking place, you PayPal will almost always side with the, the streamer in that case. And I know for a fact, I can tell you, over the years that I've done this and accepted tips, I've won every single time that that's happened as a dispute like that. I've won every one, and I, I always keep the money, all right? Fuck you. You're a liar. However, the problem here is what basically Tut is doing is committing credit card fraud. So he literally publicly has stated, yes, I am tipping Phil. This is me. He can keep it. I have it in writing and emails. Yes, these are my contributions, and you can keep them. This is legit. Now he's stating with PayPal, oh, this was credit card fraud, and someone stole my credit card, okay? It's bullshit. It's actual crime to do what he's doing. And if someone sought to go after him and track him down, he could go to jail for what he's doing right now, okay? It's actual fraud. I don't think he... Again, this guy's so eccentric. Apparently, he just has money to blow on everyone, right? So he just thinks he's above the law. He's above everything. He's above the rules. He's above the law. He can just do whatever the hell he wants. Um, so, basically, over $1,200 um, has been frozen in my PayPal tips account. And... It's basically, right now, just shown as frozen. Now, obviously, for two months, I didn't just hold all the money that t ever sent me. I used it all. I spent it on bills and stuff. Money, money, money. That I gotta spend, spend, spend. The midlife crisis. And that's when you hear, oh, the guy runs out. And he, he frivolously spends crazy amounts of money to buy a fucking, you know, sports car for himself in the middle of his life for no freaking reason. So, that money's gone. So, basically, I'm $1,200 in the hole right now. And it's his fault for committing credit card fraud. Now, it's still being investigated by PayPal. And the good news is, there's not been a determination yet. And the fact that there wasn't an instant determination makes me feel that PayPal is actually taking this seriously and isn't just going to outright just rule out of nowhere, oh, okay, we, we approve it and you lose all your money, Phil. Right? I think what they're actually doing is probably they're going to contact his credit card company and say, what the hell's up with this person? And I get the feeling once they look at the history, the fact he's been doing these crazy amounts of tips and everything, um... 
to everyone, not just me, but to multiple other parties and everything, they're going to look and say, nah, this is bullshit. This is some kid. He's nuts or something. You know, you can't just call your credit card company and say, oh, you know, $1,200 you know, is not legit, but I've been doing it for two months and I just noticed this or something. You know, good luck trying to prove that. You know what I mean? But basically, it's fraud. It, he has 100% by putting these claims in committed credit card fraud. Um, so we'll see what happens, okay? But... I'm very nervous because, as you guys know, things are already tight for me. You know, I'm paying my bills on a monthly basis, getting through everything, but I'm in a situation where this is the end of the year. This is the big crunch time for me. This is the time when I'm playing all the new games. My streams get more hype. You know, I, I t typically this time of year, I make a lot more money on YouTube, and that's not happening this year because typically during this time, October, November, December, okay, that's the month when all the views on YouTube skyrocket. And I end up making a lot more money because there's great advertisements on YouTube. This year, that hasn't happened. This year, my YouTube is just kind of the same. So this is a time of year when normally I count on a bunch of extra money and I didn't get any. So things are very tight. And now this happens, okay? So essentially, if this goes through and, and $1,200 that I legitimately raised over the last two months gets taken from me, essentially, I don't know how this affects me. I don't know if PayPal can go after me. Because like I said, I've spent the money. It shows there's like a negative balance in your PayPal account. So I don't know if this is something that PayPal can come after me legally and say, oh, now you owe us money. Like, but fuck you. You think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. You screwed up. You accepted the money and you're the one granting that this is, for, uh, you know, credit card fraud in the, in, the, in the favor of someone who blatantly is committing fraud. We have tons of evidence showing this kid, whoever he is, actively made these charges. We, and he, he you know, 100%, you know, agreed to it. I have it in writing. So it doesn't make any sense, okay? Um... But this is a major problem. I mean, this kid is so nuts. He's, again, he thinks he's above the law, he's above rules, he's above everything. He actually has committed credit card fraud and could go to jail for it. So he better hope that PayPal doesn't truly investigate this with the credit card company and get the police involved or he's screwed. But I'm just saying, this is a terrible situation all around because if this stands and, oh, you know, Phil never gets the money, then I'm $1,200 in the hole. I don't know if PayPal could come after me for it or maybe they'll just close my PayPal account. Okay, I have no idea how it works. Okay, I have no idea. So, I guess we're going to find out, okay? But we need to know what's going on, and there's no answer yet, okay? You're obnoxious. You're obnoxious, and that's why no one likes you. <laughs> this situation really sucks. It absolutely does. It absolutely fucking sucks. Um, you know, and I did nothing wrong. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. It's, it's a nutcase, basically. A kid who lost his fucking mind, and, you know... It's just like, what do you do? Nothing. All I all I can do is move forward positively, keep going, right, guys? And just say, I'm going to keep putting out fun streams. Thanks, everyone. Let's keep moving forward positively. And understand, guys, seriously, I just want you guys to understand that whatever you contribute helps tremendously. Even though this is happening, okay, um, you know, I actually planned for something like this to happen. I did. And so just so you guys know... Whether you cheer yourself or tip, it still helps me positively here, okay? I just want you to understand that. Don't think, oh, God, now Phil's all screwed up. What happened? No. No matter what you guys do, it still helps. Sorry, I don't need your quarters. Regardless, if that PayPal account gets shut down or whatever, fine. Let it get shut down, and I'll deal with that on the back end. Whether PayPal tries to come after me for the money or whatever, I don't know. But obviously, I don't have it. So good luck with them trying to get that money from me when I don't even have it, right? But, yeah, it's basically a really screwed up situation. But I just want you guys to understand, anything that you guys contribute, it still helps. It's not like, oh, God, now everything's screwed up. No. If you cheer sub or tip, all that stuff still helps me, okay? So, you know, all I can say is... Give me your money. Okay. And, yeah, obviously, in this situation, we're never going to see Todd again. He's gone. Good good riddance at this point. You know, someone who was literally... Every time he showed up in stream chat, he would derail it the whole stream. Um, being, you know, basically an attention hog. Trying to make it all about himself. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion. You know, and again, not to say I'm not grateful for the contributions, but I kind of suspected the entire time. When you see someone like that, who it's not someone who's a fan, it's not someone who's even recognized, but someone who just comes in and all of a sudden just starts dropping contributions out of nowhere, and it makes it all about them, you know something's going on behind the scenes. Like, I fully suspected that eventually this was going to happen. I did. I 100% suspected that this was eventually going to happen. Okay? <laughs> oh my god. So we'll see what happens, alright? And we'll go from there. But that's the situation. Tut's gone. Goodbye. Never coming back. Shout out to Rob Warren, who tipped me $25. You are my bitch. Thank you for the free money, dummy. And you can lick my balls. Domino Nova, 
The world is not black and white. And the reason I'm saying that, he says, well, food rages against SJWs, but just praise the Twitch terms of service, which is heavily influenced by the SJW mindset. The world is not black and white. It is shades of gray. And as I said, everything in moderation. It's not, oh, either you're 100% one way or the other. There are subjective situations where you must weigh and balance what needs to be in one situation and another. Should terms of service be enforced on Twitch so that there's not bullying, there's not toxicity, and there's not all kinds of defamation and nasty shit on here? Yes. Should a poo be banned from The Simpsons? No. Completely different situations that an intelligent, mature mind must apply subjectively to understand the situation. It's not one way or the other black and white. So, honestly, I don't really appreciate the fact that you're, you're basically trying to say I'm a hypocrite when in reality it's you who just doesn't understand the mature thought that it takes to see this difference between the situation. I'm not a hypocrite, you're just stupid because you don't listen to what I say. You literally ignore the explanation a million times to make your argument that I'm a hypocrite when in reality you're just a moron. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have a positive update. Guess what? He's done. He's done. Completely done. Uh, I won every single claim. I'm keeping all the money. Money, 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 money. I'm keeping all the gifted subs that he ever gifted me on Twitch. I kept all the cheer money he ever sent me. And, uh, you know, everything he's ever done that he now claimed he was going to try to get back, he was denied. So, he's done. He's out of here. We're not going to see him anymore. We've had enough. Okay, he's absolutely done. I'm, I'm done with it. And you know what? I put up with him. I did. I put up with him for the two months that he was here because he was being a very, very giant positive influence when it came to support. But, uh, you know, I saw basically this guy's fucking attitude um, over the months, over and over and over, get worse and worse. And him thinking that he could come in and get away with stuff and just skirt the rules. And the mods were very apprehensive about moderating him because they were like, what if he doesn't, you know, what if he says, oh, that's it, I'm pulling support for Phil or whatever. Uh, he basically decided himself that he wanted to basically be done with the whole thing and he tried to get his money back he hasn't gotten a single penny back whatsoever it doesn't matter what he says or does he is a fucking liar and he, he i kept everything okay i got the official notice from paypal today they said nope everything has been resolved no 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 worries uh you know we found in your favor it says right in the email we have found this all these cases in your favor you're good to go oh my god it's terrible. It is just, you know, it just seems to me like it's probably some, I mean, I'll be honest, my, my, my hypothesis, a younger kid, probably rich parents, who just let him pay his way for everything, probably give him a car, oh, go ahead and charge up whatever the hell you want, and he makes his name getting attention for himself, jumping on Twitch, just doing random supporting things for random people, hoping that, all oh, these people maybe are desperate or something, and now I'm going to get tons of attention and watch me destroy their communities from the inside out because I have all this power now and everything. Uh, as you guys noticed, we didn't, we didn't handle it like that at all. Instead, we just treated him like a normal person, and when he wanted to come in and be supportive, great. But he always had to abide by the rules and everything, and some people would even argue he got around the rules a little bit. But as soon as he started blatantly breaking them, that was it. He gets treated like everyone else. No one here gets special treatment, and you guys and gals know that. This is not a good old boys club. This is not a special place. He's a piece of crap. <laughs> He's a lying piece of crap. You know what I mean? Like, where, where people who come and are more supportive in different ways get better treatment. It's not true. And it's never been that way either. I've always told you guys. At the core of my streams, what I want these streams to be is a place where we're all enjoying games together. We're enjoying our hobby. You get to see my honest reactions. I get to interact with you guys. It's a chill, fun place. You feel like you can get away from the drama of the real world and just hang out with me. That's what this is about. It's, it's gross. It's for this. It's not because they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or quality stream. It's about making this. That's what it's always been about, right? And that means that we have to have a, a, a stream chat here that's taken care of fairly, that no one's getting preferential treatment, that no one's getting mistreated. All right. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Welcome to the dab side, Cheer. He says, You haven't say my friends to chat, but you specifically said you don't like me and that I'm not your friend. Does that not include me? And when did I say that I don't like you? I said you're not my personal friend, like close friend, but I do consider everyone who comes and hangs out with me on a regular basis as kind of a friend, a friendly acquaintance. No, you're not really a close personal friend, but you are someone who I value your time and interactivity. And I don't know why you think I said I don't like you. I never said that. 
Third on the third says, just another example of what happens to fans and newcomers that linger in detractor channels. I don't think so. I don't think that's what happened. I think the guy already came in and just wanted to throw money around and get attention. And when he realized he wasn't getting the attention he wanted, he got pissed off. Because if you guys aren't aware, he was doing the same exact thing in other people's channels. And anyone who basically kissed his ass and gave him tons of attention, he would be there all the time and come back and give more and more and more. Okay? And there were other people who uh, didn't do that. And he basically left and never came back. I was an example of someone who he thought that he was going to get that kind of attention. He didn't. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. And apparently he just got pissed the fuck off that he had been here, you know. Oh my god, I can't just have free reign. Phil's not going to... You heard the stuff that he had said in here. Oh, can I get shirts? Can I get free shirts? Can you, uh... You know, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? No, that's not how it works. Like, if he actually wanted, like, like uh, a shirt, he could have ordered off a Teespring. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. He just he wants a special treatment, special attention, you know? Poopster, both Poopster and Double G just asked the same question. They basically just said, could you push charges against Tut? No, it's, I'm not involved. You know, on my end, everything's closed. That would be between, I guess, PayPal or the credit card company. But from what I'm to understand, the credit card company declined him these fraud, these fraud things, maybe what they'll do is say, well, we don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but now we're going to close your credit card account or something. I don't know. It has nothing to do with me, though. No, I'm, you know, I'm not the per I'm not the one. I was the end user, the receiver of the funds when it came to the tips, but it had nothing to do with me when it comes to any kind of interact, interproceedings of fraud and stuff like that. I'm not involved with that. All right, we're going to get started. Oh, uh, no welcome to the downside. I did not send him a shirt. Never did. Uh, I never said I would. Let me put it this way, Tutankhamen. How about this? If you... If we confirm that everything is legit, which sadly is going to take two months, if we can confirm everything is legit, and you contact me in two months, then I will send you a shirt. Absolutely. But I can't, I'm not just going to send you a shirt when we have no guarantee of what's going on is legit, because remember, there may be a chargeback. Like, what if Twitch figures out, oh, this was a fraud, right? Then they might they charge it back, and then none of this will count. He wanted a shirt, and I told him, to email me and we would talk behind the scenes about stuff, which we did, but it had nothing to do with a shirt, nothing like that at all. Um, I don't have shirts to send. I told him, I don't have shirts to send him. I don't have shirts to send him. They were through Teespring. He would have had to order one, which is what I was going to tell him. If you're interested, you got to order them through Teespring. I don't make the shirts, you know? No dab side. He's never coming back. It's one thing if, okay, I had a bad day and I lost my mind in stream chat. I really apologize. I want to come back. This fucker tried to steal money from me. Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is great! <laughs> Some Sony back orders are in effect. <laughs> oh, I can't be so concentrated! Oh my god! Money he had wholeheartedly up front said, here it is, you can keep it, this is from me, it's legit. Then tried to, on the back end, fucking screw me and take it back, and screw me over financially. He ain't coming back, never. I give a fuck. <laughs> never ever. I'm forewarning all of you, if you're expecting greatness and great gameplay, you're not gonna get it. You're not a real gamer. Burn in hell, Burnell, and I'm gonna burn in hell for the rest of eternity because of it. You can't change who you are, I guess. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.